Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well, today I'm going to read a story about a piglet, a special piglet called Olivia. And here she is. And this is a story, a wonderful story called Olivia Goes to Venice. And you can see here she is standing on a gondola and she looks like she's a gondolier. She's actually pushing the gondola down the canal. You can see one of the wonderful buildings in Venice, in Italy, behind her. Let's have a look inside. It says here, Olivia has always been on the go. Look where she's heading now. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Olivia, a wonderful book. Uh, and the pictures and the story are both by Ian Falconer. Here she is dressed up ready for Italy and Venice especially. It was time for spring vacation. Olivia decided that she and her family ought to spend a few days in Venice. There was a lot of packing to be done. Olivia, you won't be needing your snorkel, said her mother, or your flippers. Mother, apparently the city is often underwater and, or your water skis. So, those are not necessary. As they went through the airport, Olivia was searched for weapons. She was very pleased. On the plane, Olivia asked her mother about the food in Venice. Don't worry, sweetheart. You can get pizza and ice cream everywhere. Everywhere? Olivia was relieved. They arrived very late at their hotel. Olivia was so sleepy, she didn't even notice the view from her window. Early the next morning, they set forth. They crossed a pretty little bridge and then another, and then another. Wait, cried Olivia. Here she is. We've been crossing the same canal. I think we're lost, and my blood sugar is getting low. We'll get some ice cream, promised her mother. It's called gelato, replied Olivia. They all decided to have gelato. Crossing a big bridge, Olivia saw the Grand Canal for the first time, lined with its glittering many-coloured palazzos. Olivia said to her mother with an edge of hysteria in her voice, Oh please, oh please mother, can't we live in a palazzo on the Grand Canal? Well, it is a very beautiful place. It was a life-changing experience for Olivia. She needed another gelato. Or maybe two. Or three. When she was refreshed, they wandered on. Finally, they passed through a dark archway. and into the Piazza San Marco. Olivia was overcome by its beauty. Mother, I think I could use another... Her mother sighed. I think we all could. And look, they all have gelato ice cream. Olivia wanted to buy corn to feed the pigeons. She held out the corn but couldn't find many pigeons. But they soon found her. <laughs> I think she's dropped the corn and she's running away. After that ex exhausting encounter, Olivia required another gelato. The next day, Olivia begged her parents, Oh, Mummy, Daddy, 
please, can we take a gondola ride? And hear someone shouting, gondola, gondola. Olivia negotiated the price. The gondolier waved them aboard with a gallant prego. Tourists always too much gelato, said the gondolier. Olivia found it very restful. The gondolier did not. He's sweating. They came out onto the Grand Canal and passed under the magnificent Rialto Bridge. Eventually, they emerged from under the Bridge of Sighs. Olivia sighed. By now, Olivia was completely entranced. I must have something to remember Venice by. I must find the perfect souvenir. How about a chandelier? Olivia, that's bigger than your room, said her mother. What about a gondola? Sweetheart, try to find something you can carry. Lace, very pretty, but not really very Olivia. A mask? No, thought Olivia, I'll only wear it once. Perfume? Uh, Olivia doesn't really like perfume. Besides, She's planning her own line. Look, this perfume's called Fussy by Olivia. On their last day in Venice, Olivia and her family went back to San Marco. The basilica was all peach and gold in the late afternoon light. Mother and father were finishing their coffee. Olivia and Ian were playing by the bell tower. I found it, cried Olivia, the perfect souvenir. What is that? asked her mother. One of the actual stones of Venice, said Olivia, from the bell tower. Olivia, said her mother, if everyone took a piece of Venice with them, the city would fall down. Now leave that with the waiter. We've got to get to the airport. Oh dear, bell tower's falling down. Bong, 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 bong. Mummy, are those bells ringing for us? Yes, dear, they're reminding us that we're late. Oh my. I think we'd better hurry. There, look, it's completely collapsing. Bong, bong. Olivia turned to take one last look at Venice. Look, they're waving us goodbye. I'll always remember Venice. Mummy, do you think Venice will remember me? Probably. Look, there's the bell tower pile of bricks. As soon as she got on the plane, Olivia fell asleep and dreamed. Can you see there's a statue of Olivia with her name? Phew! And look, there's some wonderful stripes. And here are some other books about Olivia. Here's the back cover with Olivia sitting on the statue, famous statue of soldier in Venice. And there's the front and back cover. And here she is in a gondola at the front, on the front cover. What a super story. What a wonderful city. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye bye.